So what I've got here today is a Westinghouse Turbo Swirl. This was bought and installed on the same day as the K's, the K's hook that's in my parents' room of this house. So yeah. Anyways, this is in my cousin's room. I don't want to get now while they're awake, so it's quieter. Here it's low speed. I've always loved turbo swirls. They're very common in the Philippines. I'm moving like a thousand CFM, despite only being in low. I've seen turbo thrills go slower than this, but it's sick as it's like because the capacitor drifts over time. This video is kind of more complicated than like the video of the K's fan, because this fan, unlike the K's, is not installed over a bed. Anyways, here's medium. I'm having to use a walkie ladder. And yes, by the way, we're likely gonna change this light bulb inside with a brighter bulb. Let's see if that's even already. And finally, hi. A hair under 3,000 CFM. Keep in mind it's close mounted because it's a low ceiling. Yeah. I always really like these fans. I think that some of the first fans I really got really up close to in my childhood were Turbo Swirls whenever I go to the Philippines. <clears throat> yeah, this fan is actually kind of small for this room, but this is the fan that my cousin wanted. So. Turbo swirls are pretty common in the Philippines. So, um, turbo swirls were among the first fans that I actually really encountered up and close. There was a resort that I stayed in, that I stayed in when I was a child in, in the Philippines that had these and gazebos and the blades were actually bloated 
on the ends here that I'm pretty sure these are indoor fans, so outdoors. You would not expect that to happen. So yeah. And you'd see these quite often in like places like restaurants and stuff. And the Philippines does not have like like in the US. Even though West even though Western Yard is American. I think Western Yard fans in the US are actually less common compared to Hampton Bays and stuff, because the US has like these big home improvement stores that have their private label brands like Hampton Bay and Harbor Breeze. Meanwhile in the Philippines most home improvement stores would carry Westinghouse rather than their own private label stuff. So these so Westinghouse ceiling fans are extremely common here. Anyways, let's fire it up in reverse. The electrician kind of made a mistake there in the washer where the screw is actually inside, but he did. Apparently he said it, it is okay. If I were putting it up, I would still I would have still fixed that. Here's my reverse. Excuse the rooster. medium reverse and low reverse Anyways, finally, let's show around the fan a bit. Here's the top of the motor. And there is the blade, should be eight feet above the floor. I'm pretty sure I put the sticker on there with. I'm pretty sure who the person at Westinghouse or the manufacturer made a mistake with that guideline because IEC requires manufacturers to have. have an instruction that says the blade should be 7.6 or 2.3 meters. So, pretty sure whoever made that made a mistake or something, or maybe the, maybe there's some kind of warranty requirement, but I don't know. Anyways, either way, it's not 8 feet from the floor. It's about 7.6 or 2.3 meters, which is definitely high enough but anyways that's it for now thanks for watching hope you enjoyed